Hey guys, I'm Ryan Laird here in Guelph, Ontario. I'm going to be going over to a school today to talk to some kids about a very important message uh, of anti-bullying. When I was in seventh grade in school, I had a school bully. Her name was Ashley and she would just pick on me and tried to make my life really difficult for me and uh, you know I started writing songs and playing guitar at that point and she would belittle my music and tease me and stuff like that. It made it really tough so having been through that in my life I know what it feels like and it's not a very nice feeling so I want to go into the schools and basically motivate these kids uh, through my own personal life experience with bullying and, and let them know that you know if you have a bully in your life there are things you can do about it uh, and it's important to to always persevere through um, the bullies and live your dreams and I'll share some songs with them and have a lot of fun with them as well. So we're gonna head over to the uh, to the school in the hot rod here and uh, let's go try and inspire some kids. We're on our way over to a uh, public school here in Guelph, Ontario. Um, I've been going around to a lot of schools this last year um, speaking to kids about anti-bullying. Um, I think it's a really important subject in our world today and especially in schools with, with our youth. Uh, a lot of kids are uh, you know, getting a neg negative message and are getting put down from, say, other peers and other kids, uh, which are bullies. Um, in my personal life, you know, I had a dream of always being a country musician and being a songwriter. And I had a grade school bully named Ashley that used to just pick on me and make my life really tough. And it wasn't very nice for my family and myself. And I maybe not want to get up every morning and go back to school the next day. And you know, that's that's not a very nice feeling when you're a kid. So. Um, but what, I, I persevered through it and I, you know, I went down to Nashville, Tennessee and continued to, uh, to work on my country music career and ended up you know, getting some hit songs on the radio and now I get my music videos played on country music television, on CMT and you know, I persevered through it and I'm living my dreams and I think that every kid and every person in the world deserves that same opportunity. So basically my goal with these shows at the schools are to you know, share my personal life story with the kids, share my music with them, have a lot of fun. Uh, with the kids, but also try and you know have every kid leave the concert knowing that you know there's something they can do if they've got a bully in their lives. They don't have to put up with that, and you know ultimately everybody needs to have a dream in their life. I think that's really important. So I want to help the kids you know find what their dream is, and if they already know what their their dreams are in their lives, they want to be a firefighter. Um, they want to be a musician, maybe they want to be a hockey player, whatever that is. You know, I usually try and invite those kids up on the stage with me. Um, to, to tell their dream in front of the whole school because you know if they have the guts to get up in front of the whole school and share that dream you know I think that's that's a really cool thing and it's a really powerful thing as well. I've got a pretty eclectic uh, mix of music in there everything from some Keith Urban, Brad Paisley of course I like my country music, um, some Zac Brown band, um, some Dave Matthews band, I think I even have a little Rod Stewart in there. <laughs> you know I remember when I was a kid I'd have uh, butterflies, you know, in my stomach to get up and perform in front of people. It was always a really nerve-wracking kind of thing. But the more and more I did it, the more I practiced, uh, the easier it became, you know. I, I, and so I tell the kids that as well. You know, if if you have a dream and you want to be a singer or something, I, I try and get them. I don't make them, but I'll, I'll motivate them to try and come up on stage with me and uh, and sing a song with me. Maybe do a duet, or, or we'll write a song on the fly together in front of whole school, and that's kind of fun because I can show them the creative process of, of being a songwriter and stuff. Um, but you know, so there's a lot of impro improvisation involved in the shows that way. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, we're in and out in about an hour into each school. And I really think, you know, deep in my heart that the, the kids are taking uh, a great message from the shows. And um, it, you know, when it means so much to me, uh, and I go up there, I think that up on that stage and, and kind of share my message and, and my story with the kids through my music, I think, uh, I think that really, uh, you know, strikes a chord with them, and I can see the smiles on their faces out there. And a lot of their parents will come in with them too, to, to watch the performances and stuff. My favorite superhero, hero, I was always a Batman fan. I used to have my little, little Batman suit <laughs> when I was a little kid. We played a show this morning at a school here in Guelph, Ontario, and uh, you know, I had some kids come up to me in the line after, and they were just like, they were like, oh man, it, you know, we feel so inspired from from the message of, of what you told us today. And uh, one of the girls even came up to me and, and was telling me about a bully that she had in her life at school and that some of the, the things that I told her during the performance today and some of the techniques I, I mentioned uh, she was going to apply in her life. 
to uh, you know avoid being bullied basically and you know ultimately though I think you know if I can inspire some of these kids to pursue their dreams and, and even just to have a dream in their lives I think that's one of the most important aspects of the whole show and, and the whole anti-bullying campaign that we're uh, you know been doing we've been doing it regionally across southern Ontario so far and and I want to take this everywhere I'd like to start taking it nationwide across Canada and uh, I just think that the bullying is, is a very important issue right now in our society and especially in schools and uh, if we could do a national school tour um, to support this cause and spread the word and the message uh, I think it could be a really powerful thing.